हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द चैनल सो हेयर वे डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन मेक इट अगली ऑन कोर्ट फोर्सेज सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेट स्टार्ट लेट्स कॉल एन एरिया ब्यूटिफुल इफ यू कैन मेक ऑल इट्स एलिमेंट्स द सेम बाई यूजिंग द फॉलोइंग ऑपरेशन एंड आर्बिट्री नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स पॉसिबली जीरो सो वी नीड टू चूज एन इंडेक्स आई आई रेंज फ्रॉम टू टू लेंथ ऑफ एरिया माइनस वन विच इज एन माइनस वन सर्च डैट ए आई माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू ए आई प्लस वन एंड रिप्लेस ए आई विथ ए आई माइनस वन सो वॉट दिस लाइन मीन्स इज लेट्स टेक अ स्मॉल एग्जाम्पल आई टेक वन टू वन हेयर इफ आई इक्वल टू वन लेट्स टेक आई इक्वल टू टू ओके नाउ इफ आई टेक आई इक्वल टू टू देन ए आई माइनस वन विच इज ए वन शुड बी इक्वल टू ए आई प्लस वन विच इज ए थ्री इफ ए वन इज इक्वल टू ए थ्री देन आई कैन रिप्लेस ए ऑफ टू विथ ए ऑफ वन so in this case a1 is equal to a3 so i can replace a of 2 with a of 1 so i can convert 2 to 1 here this is what it means now let's look at the question so you are given a beautiful array a1 to an what is minimum number of elements you need to remove from it in order for it to stop being beautiful so swapping elements is prohibited if it is impossible to do so then output minus 1 so we can't swap the elements we want the order as it is now here we have n and a1 to an and obviously t the number of test cases so we need to output a single integer the minimum number of elements we need to remove from array a in order for it to stop being beautiful and if that's impossible then simply output minus 1 now consider the case of triple 2 so if you have triple 2 in the array if you remove any one of them then also the array would be beautiful so it is beautiful always hence we print minus 1 in case of 1 2 1 2 1 we can do remove this element so it will be 1 2 2 1 after which becoming beautiful will not be possible so our answer is 1 else what you can do remove this first one so it will be 2 1 2 and in case of only one we simply output minus 1 because error is length only one and we can't do anything in that case in case of another we have triple 3 5 triple 3 so it's better to remove these consecutive threes from here so we are left with 5 triple 3 so our output is 3 in this case now what's the conclusion here the conclusion here is that you just need to remove the number which is in the starting of the array and remove all the consecutive numbers from the starting or from the between or from the end whatever which is the minimum suppose i am having here 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 as you know we can't replace the first and the last element so our approach is to remove the elements after the unique element or before the unique element so i am removing 
these two three otherwise these four three now if i am removing these two three then my count is two if i am removing these four my count is four minimum count is two hence i return two in this case so what we need to do is take the first element which is a of zero keep comparing it with the next element the next element will start from index 1 and we keep comparing so if you are not starting from index 1 you can start the loop from 0 if your count is initially kept 0 so my count is initially kept 0 and then I check if my a of 0 is equal to a of 0 which is always there so my count becomes 1 and then I check with a of 1 my count becomes 2 I am doing it for the last test case now a of 2 my count becomes 3 as soon as I go to a of 3 they are not equal so my answer will be minimum of the answer comma this and I can keep answer to the maximum initially which is my length of the array so let answer be n so minimum of n comma 3 would be 3 because my n here is 7 so my answer becomes 3 in this case now I will initialize count to 0 again when I am taking the minimum so my count again becomes 0 now I compare with 5 it becomes 1 but we need to compare a of 0 with 5 so a of 0 is not equal to 5 so count is not updated and then we go again so here also count becomes 3 and minimum of 3 comma 3 is 3 so we get 3 here and again count 0 so my answer becomes 3 finally so like this we can find the solution so looking at the code here you can see I am creating a map to store that how many times a number is there in the array if suppose I have only one number in the array then it's not possible I simply return minus one and if suppose I have only one element in the array then also I will return minus one so these two cases are for minus one else what I will do my counter is j so I am doing j plus one whenever my element is equal to the first element so I am getting continuous elements number of continuous elements which are there which are matching to the starting element and then I update answer to the minimum of answer comma the count of my elements and I update here count again to zero so you can think it as a sliding window which is counting here stopping and then counting again by initializing the count to zero so it is start starting a new count from where this loop breaks of the if statement so once we get our answer we will again take the minimum of answer and j as j would be updated last year and then we would return our answer so this is the whole code you can look at it and if you have any questions or doubts you can write it in the comments i hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching